Hey guys, how's it going? I'm sick again, so just I apologize for the stuffiness and grogginess or whatnot. Thank everybody um, for a really great year on YouTube. As a lot of you know, I've become a lot more consistent with uploads every Friday and live streams and stuff. My goal 365 days from now is to have 100,000 subscribers on the channel. I'm having fun doing this and uh, staying committed. Those two things stay together, then we'll uh, we'll be able to do this. Um, and then I want to show you a little bit about what I've been doing and uh, this crazy chapter of my life that's been going on. So check it out. So I took on this project, man, helping this guy in his in his metal shop. I met him at the gym. He builds these big premix fracking tanks. I was looking for a business opportunity to do something that can fuel my music career until I get to the point where it's self-sustaining, right? And I was like, hey man, do you have any work? And he was like, yeah, I'll fucking hire you. He's like, what can you do? I was like, I, I don't know. I, mean, I could pretty much just do anything I have to do. You can sell these tanks to people. If you can get clients to buy, he's like, I'll give you a commission. What he talked about to me was attractive, giving me something that A, I could do from my cell phone, you know, making calls, making connections, networking during the day, and B, something that would make me enough money to be able to like stay fully committed to the music thing. Because let's just face it, I'm fully committed to it, right? Either I'm going to be just dirt fucking poor doing this, or I'm going to make a comfortable financial life doing this. It doesn't really matter at this point. So that's what I was looking for, a gig like this. He told me, he was like, there's one catch. I want you to come work at my shop and just learn the ropes, learn about the tanks, learn about the products, put in some, some time on the floor. Like, All right, deal. I put on the fucking work boots and I went out and I started working on these tanks. To be honest, this is the first full-time job I've ever had in my entire life. Like, I've always been like a musician. So this was a very interesting opportunity for me to take on something that I had never done before. I have a lot of respect for people that do this type of shit for decades of their lives. Just getting out of my comfort zone, I guess, makes you actually realize that you want to do what you do even more, you know, because you actually see the other side life can be. It's just, it's not for everyone. Same with music though, you know, a music career is not for everyone. Man, look, I'm saying all this to say that <clears throat> this has been like a crazy learning experience. It's been a crazy month and a half. It's really put me to the test of my physical and like almost mental sanity, you know, and capacity. Breathing in a bunch of shit from just grinding and welding all day. I keep on getting fucking sick, man, and I can't, like, shake it. I wear masks. It's still, somehow I end up fucking sick. I'm thankful for every second of it because of what it's teaching me and the character that it's building. And most importantly, the opportunity that it's going to give me if I put in the work to fuel my music career tenfold. That's the ultimate goal and that's why I got into this. I know that this is an investment to the future of my music, drama face recordings, more entertainment for you guys, more music for you guys, that's my goal and I'm 110% committed to it and every single one of you have my word for that. I wanna create for you guys and that's the reason for all of this. Thank you for watching this video if you've made it this far into it. I don't know how long this is gonna be. And now you know what I'm up to. Dymphonic is gonna start writing a new record for the year 2023. So that's coming as well. Lots of shows coming, lots of live shows coming. More content coming every Friday, live streams every third Friday, Saturday, or Sunday of the month, depending on the schedule. So thank you all so much for watching and uh, I will see you around in the next one. There you go.